My name is Dionet Ballester. I came to New York in 1981. I worked at the uh, Robert Blackburn workshop. It was founded in 1949. And the workshop, the American workshop of Robert Blackburn was an interesting uh, workshop for me because I got a lot of connection with a lot of artists from uh, Latin America, the Caribbean, and all around the world. Uh, when I came to New York, then uh, working in the workshop and working with the artists here in the, in the barrio, my work uh, transformed, it went to another level. And uh, while working here, then I decided to go to, to Madison, Wisconsin, and over there, I did um, my master in fine arts, uh, and the work started evolving. And when I came back to New York, I went to to Albany to teach there, and I decided that was a complete project. I come back to New York City. I I, I got involved. Uh, I came back for the barrio in 1987. I started working in the barrio, and I started feeling the experience of the Puerto Rican people in the barrio. And I started associating that experience with the whole issue of totemism. Uh, as we know, totemism, uh, at least in the way I see it, is that all these ancient, uh, ancestral cultures, and somehow they create a, sim a symbology. It's kind of a symbolism that they, that they uh, and also cultural codes that encompass uh, the, 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 the knowledge and wisdom of that culture probably sometimes as, uh, as a message of, uh, for us, uh, as a message for that particular era. Uh, but I look at that process of how creating this codification of, 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 of that symbolism of the Puerto Rican experience by living in the back of New York. And, it's, and they say, well, I want to try this idea of a totem, uh, make a drawing with totemism. And I realized that the drawing itself uh, it, can, it cannot be like a token of the North American the, uh, Native and, uh, Indians uh, the, in, around in the West, or like in Australia, other places, because our culture, because we are a colony, and we are not uh, yet uh, 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 identified as nation. We, we know we are a nation, we know we, are, we have a rich culture, we know that, but we still, we still a colony. So when I did this drawing, this, this Prisma Color drawing, uh, I was going through that process of thinking who we are, um, what we stand for, and all these issues that I found it, uh, interesting. So that's why you see an abstracted image, an undefined image, enclustrated, because you want to be free. You want to be free. But the, the idea of making free among this, those political and economical structures of our economy would be a difficult situation for us. Or like us, like a Puerto Rico as a colony and many other colonies around the world. But the Puerto Rico colony is probably one of the oldest colonies in the Western Hemisphere. And, uh, and I see this museum as part of that uh, struggle, of that uh, experience. Uh, in terms of the techniques that I use in the drawing, I would say that I, I dissolved the, the prisma color with the, the, the turpentine uh, on paper that is a uh, um, kind of French paper, PSK Reef, a French paper that uh, is used for, for printmaking. Mm -hmm. And I, I try to treat it like a printmaking process. And then uh, uh, after I work with different colors over the surface and created the atmosphere that I want, I start working with the black color over and then enrich the surface which contains a, a, a addition of layers of, uh, of, of I mean, pencil layers. So we can see the smoosh, the, the, the heavy line drawing, the, the, the translucent effect of the work. But that's just a drawing. I use uh, the color, I mean, the yellow color is uh, uh, what is considered by ancient culture connected to the earth energy. The earth energy within the sun, which they call it a privy, privy, privy color, and that is the, the color is the yellow color is the color of realization. So when I when I look in this undefined uh, cultural, undefined ideas about uh, getting a uh, country free, 
I'm looking at the realization of that by using that kind of yellow background. See, we're using the idea of spiritualism coming from the Vedas, you know, or from the, the tantric, you know, that they use the motion yellow. Yellow is a particular vibration of frequency. When we study color analysis of light, we have a particular frequency. Uh, and some yellow have that particular frequency that I want in that drawing. <laughs> it wasn't just a pure decoration. It was a, a, a meaningful effect. And I'm glad that you saw that too.